Hi, I'm Tom Dowell from Holbert Piano. We all know that the weather changes a lot from day to day and from season to season. And one of those changes is changes in humidity. Now your piano is actually very sensitive to changes in humidity. In this video we're going to look at why pianos are affected by humidity, what kind of changes happen when the humidity changes, and we're going to look at what we can do to make sure that no matter what the humidity, we can still enjoy and use our piano. Two of the most common materials in your piano are wood and wool. Wood is strong and lightweight, ideal for structural parts. On the other hand, wool is soft and resilient, perfect for bushings and for muting sound. However, both of these materials change size slightly as humidity changes. When the humidity goes up, they expand, and when humidity falls, they shrink. This can have some interesting effects on your piano. Let's see what those are. First, let's look at bridges. The bridges connect the strings to the soundboard. Wood is an ideal material, being strong, lightweight, and stiff. However, when humidity rises, the bridges will expand, raising the pitch of the piano. In dry times, the bridges shrink, lowering the pitch. To complicate matters, the amount that the pitch will move is not even across the keyboard. And this is what causes a piano to go out of tune in between the seasons unless the humidity is regulated. So simply put, when the humidity rises, the pitch will go up or sharp. When humidity falls, the pitch will go down or flat. Now let's look at a moving part, the piano keys. Piano keys are also made of wood. Each key is guided by two pins to make sure that the key moves only in the correct direction. Now when humidity is higher, the keys will feel looser, moving more from side to side. In dry times, the keys will have more friction, feeling tighter. At first, this can feel a little bit backwards or counterintuitive. Since the wood is shrinking, it feels more natural that it would become looser in the dry times rather than tighter. But think about it this way. Here I've got this balloon and on the surface here I've drawn a little circle. Now imagine that this balloon is a key and that the circle is the hole for the guiding pin to go into. Now notice what happens to the circle as I blow this balloon up. You can see now that the circle is a lot bigger. Now the same thing happens with a piano key. As the key expands with higher humidity, the hole for the pin also gets bigger, causing a looser fit. When it gets drier, the whole key shrinks, meaning that this hole also shrinks, creating a tighter fit on the key. So to summarize, when humidity rises, keys will feel looser. When humidity falls, the keys will get tighter with more friction. Another moving part in the piano are action centers. An action center is like a high performance hinge for a moving part in the piano. They can be found in several places, for example, the hammer flanges and in whippins. There are a few parts of the action center. You can see that there's a hole in wood, there's a woolen bushing, here red, and a brass center pin. The pin spins in the bushing, which supports and guides the part as it moves. While the wood hole has some impact on this joint, the bushing plays a much larger role. In this case, when the wool expands with higher humidity, it can't expand outward, so it squeezes in on the center pin. This is a lot like a blood pressure cuff, which exerts more pressure as it expands. When the humidity falls, the opposite happens. The center pin is able to rotate more freely. So when humidity rises, center pins have more friction. When humidity falls, the friction falls as well. Let's look at one more part, tuning pins. Loose tuning pins are usually the first thing people think of when a piano is out of tune. Tuning pins are metal pins driven into a hardwood block, usually laminated maple or beech. The friction between the pin and the wood holds the piano strings tight, but still allows for tuning. At first, you might think the wood will behave like the piano keys mentioned earlier. Here, though, it behaves a little bit differently. As humidity rises, the wood cannot expand freely. This is because the wooden block is made of many small laminations and the wood surface is compressed. So instead, the wood expands inward, tightening its grip on the tuning pin. 
In dry weather, the opposite happens. The grip is a little bit weaker, leading to a lower tuning pin torque. So in summary, higher humidity leads to higher tuning pin torque. Lower humidity leads to lower tuning pin torque. So now we know a little bit about what happens to a piano when humidity changes. Is there anything we can do about it? The answer is yes. At Holper Piano, we understand the effects that humidity can have on your piano. And when we service your piano, we keep these things in mind. For example, when dealing with key bushings, if they become too tight in the winter, a time of low humidity, we won't overcorrect, leaving keys that are too loose in the summer. Or when servicing action centers, we'll make sure that they will function properly in both high and low humidity situations. The final goal is to make sure that the piano is functional in the widest range of possible conditions. Another thing we can do is control the humidity around the piano. Whole building humidifiers and dehumidifiers can be used to control the climate within a building. In many cases though that's not a feasible solution. In that case a microclimate system might be the solution. Here at Hulbert Piano we are certified installers of Piano Lifesaver systems. These systems create a microclimate around your piano, increasing humidity when it's low and drying out the air when humidity is high. These don't make a piano completely immune to humidity changes, but they can help tame the extreme climate changes that are common here in Wisconsin. Lastly, it is good to have your piano serviced regularly. While we've mentioned some common effects, this is not an exhaustive list. Your piano is unique and so is your situation. At Holbert Piano, we can work with you to create a custom service plan to meet the needs of you and your piano. Humidity will make changes to a piano, but your piano is up to the challenge as long as it has a little help. At Holbert Piano, we can help you and your piano make beautiful music regardless of what the weather is outside. I'm Tom Dowell from Holbert Piano. Thanks for watching.